What's up, gamers? I'm John. This is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Monday, June 10th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Xbox fans are upset as more exclusives are heading to PlayStation, a trend hinted at for months. The recent Xbox showcase revealed that Doom The Dark Ages, a Bethesda title, will release on both Game Pass and PlayStation 5, frustrating fans who hoped it would remain an Xbox exclusive. While others showcased titles like Gears of War and Indiana Jones and The Great Circle are still set for Microsoft platforms, there is always uncertainty as seen with Starfield. Despite concerns, Xbox isn't abandoning exclusivities entirely. Recent leaks like the avowed release date suggest fans will soon have plenty to keep them occupied, likely easing current frustrations. Bloodborne fans are in for a treat with an official return, though not the long-awaited remaster. Instead, a new Bloodborne Limited Complete Edition guide is set to release, combining content from the original guide and the old Hunter's expansion, while removing redundant material. This announcement has sparked excitement despite the disappointment of no remaster. Fans are eager to get their hands on this beautifully crafted tome, with pre-orders available ahead of its September 20th release. The Bloodborne community remains captivated, proving their enduring love for the franchise. Following the announcement of Gears of War E-Day during the Xbox Game Showcase, some fans worried that Microsoft and the developer, The Coalition, were abandoning the storylines from Gears of War 4 and Gears of War 5. However, Microsoft reassured fans via Xbox Wire that these stories will continue. Gears of War E-Day will focus on Emergence Day, set 14 years before the first game, highlighting the origins of Marcus and Dom. The Coalition felt that the prequel was an opportunity too good to miss, even though Gears of War 5 ended on a cliffhanger. While the release date for E-Day is not yet available, the decision to explore their prequel has generated excitement, with Xbox boss Phil Spencer supporting the move as a chance to delve into a pivotal event in the franchise. However, it may be a while before the overarching Gears storyline continues with a potential Gear 6. During the Xbox Games Showcase on June 9th, Microsoft revealed 30 games featuring major titles, new trailers, and launch dates. Highlights include Call of Duty Black Ops 6, set during the first Gulf War with new maps and a zombies mode, and Gears of War E-Day, a prequel focusing on the first Lacoste emergence on Sierra. Bethesda showcased a cinematic trailer for Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, while ID Software announced Doom The Dark Ages, a prequel to the 2016 Doom reboot and Doom Eternal. Avow received its first trailer with a potential November release. The showcase also featured expansions for Diablo 4 and the World of Warcraft, a 2025 release window for Fable, and a new gameplay trailer for the Perfect Dark reboot. Updates to Sea of Thieves, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, Fallout 76, Life is Strange Double Exposure, and Starfield Shattered Space. To excel in Destiny 2's new raid, Salvation's Edge, players need a detailed loot table to identify which weapons drop from each of the five encounters. This final raid, which ties into the final shape and the exertion mission, offers unique weapons and armor pieces, including the exotic linear fusion rifle, Infinity and legendary weapons like the Nullify Pulse Rifle and non denouement Bow. Each weapon comes with a variety of perks and the original trait collective purpose, enhancing range, handling, and other attributes when near other guardians. Additionally, armor sets from Promise Range, Promise Reunion, and the Promise Victories are available for Hunters, Titans, and Warlocks respectively. Fira, the Sudder Tribes, offers a unique twist on the survival genre by requiring players to manage a village's needs over their own. While traditional tasks like gathering berries and chopping wood remain, the game introduces novel mechanics such as portals to floating islands and the use of a tethered hook and glider wings for aerial navigation. Players build yurts for villages and distribute resources, emphasizing commercial well-being. Inspired by Zelda and Studio Ghibli, particularly Princess Mononoke, the game combines traditional survival elements with stunning visuals and dynamic movement, promising a fresh experience for fans of the genre. 
Sonic Generations is making a big comeback, remastered for modern consoles with Shadow the Hedgehog now joining Sonic in Sonic Cross Shadow Generations. This new version includes a standalone adventure for Shadow bringing fresh gameplay elements and cinematic moments. Shadow Generations introduces the boost mechanic and new chaos control ability allowing Shadow to freeze time and use environmental objects strategically. In the demo at the Summer Games Fest, the first level, Space Colony Arc Act 1 featured trippy, distorted environments and a mini boss fight with Doom's Eye. The second level included a cinematic boss battle against Bio Lizard, reminiscent of Sonic Frontiers, with intense action and a dynamic soundtrack. Shadow Generation promises an exciting return for the character, combining the best aspects of previous games. You know, Tree of the Last song is generating significant buzz, especially after delaying its release to avoid clashing with Elder Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. An 8 hour long demo on Steam and an impressive hour long demo at Summer Games Fest 2024 have showcased its smart, accessible, and versatile souls like mechanics. Drawing from Italian culture, history, and folklore, the game allows players to claim masks from defeated foes to customize their playstyle. The demo highlighted three distinct boss arenas, each inspired by Italy's rich cultural backdrop. Enotria features a detailed build system with a streamlined leveling approach and its combat incorporates mechanics like the parry based unrevealing system, resembling Sekiro and other elements from games like Bloodborne. The game setting contrasts the typical Dark Souls like aesthetic with sun soaked Italian vistas blending theater and religious themes for a unique narrative. Destiny 2's new bounty system, Pathfinder, introduced in the Final Shape expansion aimed to give players more control over objectives and encourage them to try different activities. However, it has faced criticism for its exertion. Players are frustrated with being forced to participate in activities they dislike, such as Vanguard Ops or Gambit, to earn rewards. This system can hinder enjoyment and disturb gameplay streaks, slowing down repetition gains. Many players suggest that each ritual activity, Vanguard, Crucible, and Gambit should have its own Pathfinder abilities. Similar to how the Pale Heart operates to avoid clumpering all activities into one path, while Pathfinder has potential, it requires significant adjustments to match the effectiveness and enjoyment of the old bouncy system. In an interview with IGN's Ryan McCaffrey, Phil Spencer, CEO of Microsoft Gaming, discussed Xbox's strategic growth, emphasizing the success of third-party game sales, which have doubled annually for the past five years, and a record of number of gamers on Xbox consoles. Spencer highlighted Xbox's multi-platform strategy allowing games to be played across various devices and hinted at future hardware developments, including a potential native Xbox handheld. He praised the diverse lineup from the Xbox Game Showcase, with many titles launching on Xbox Game Pass day and day. Spencer also addressed the future of franchises like Doom and Fallout, revealing that developers' choice drive, platform availability, and hinting at Todd Howard's plans for Fallout amongst the success of its TV adaptation. Additionally, Spencer teased having seen Elden Ring 6, reflecting Xbox's ongoing commitment to innovation and player-centric experiences. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.